Calling Eric's Hour of Enlightenment. Get her on and some glitch, you know, you know, blog talk, radio, get what you pay for, even though I do have to pay. But anyway, we are yet again, and I don't know how long we're going to keep this up. You guys can give me some feedback doing the whole callers only. We really want to help you guys because these are, these are crap times. And, you know, uh, yeah, we love to have our, our guests on to educate us and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, it's also good to let you guys ha- have the mic and do your mic drops and get some help, too. Right, Stephanie? Right, Eric? Absolutely. And Eric says hello to everyone, and he says, hi, Mama. He loves you. And he is standing right here next to me, and we are ready to go. So all those who, who need to get through on the lines are very excited. Yeah, and you guys check out the Stonehenge Part 2 because uh, Stephanie does give um, – a little intro to herself and you can find her uh, at, more about her at in Nora's corner.com E N O R A S corner.com. And I'll put that in this, this, the description box and at the end of the YouTube and in the little title splash, right? Stephanie, you got it. That's absolutely Eric, beautiful. Steph Eric, should it be Eric Kephany or should it be Steph Eric? What do you think, Eric? <laughs> I just heard him say arephony. <laughs> arephony. We're having big arephonies at this moment instead of epiphanies. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. I'm going to keep my day job. Beautiful. Okay, I love you, Eric. I love you, Eric, by the way, in case you forgot. He's, you know, he said that first thing coming out, he said, I love you too, Mama. He's yeah. blowing you kisses. And he's pet. He's oh. right beside the dog. He was like petting the dog. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. That's sweet. Well, she's sound asleep. I was just telling Stephanie, guys, I was doing the dowsing rods with Palo Santo at my feet, burning the incense kind of stuff. And she's like, wow, that's pretty big smoke. And, you know, I was walking around with the dowsing rods somewhere else and having them in front of me. And all of a sudden, I see smoke between them. I said, holy shit, that's not Palo Santo. I walked away from that. It's, you know, way behind me. And I realized that's Eric's spirit. It's the coolest freaking thing. I see my son's spirit just just working the, the rod. It was so beautiful, white, wispy spirit. He's he's just as beautiful in spirit as he was in life, in, in the fake life, whatever you want to call it. Um, all right, are you guys ready to take calls? Yeah, let's rock and roll. Okay, three one three area code. How about it? Hey there. Hello, my name is Chanel. I'm calling from Michigan. How are you? Hi. How are you doing? What's, how do you say your first name? Shalel. Shalel. Hi, Shalel. What's going on? Shalel. Shalel, right? Shalel? Shalel. 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 Shalel? Yes. That's correct. Oh, okay, okay, good. About that. I'm old and, you know, how it goes. So what, okay, what yes. would you like to oh, How can we help you? Yes, I would just like messages from the other side or whatever you get. Please. Like your higher self or Eric or anybody? Yes, Eric, Spirit, whatever that comes up. Grand- All right, Eric. Whatever that comes on the other side. Okay. Angels, certainly, whatever. certainly, certainly. And you know what, Sherelle, have you been worrying about work a lot lately? Because the first thing that's coming through, and Eric is actually talking about it. He was like, yes. he's talking about a job and employment. So I know that things are really tough for people right now. And Eric, yeah. Yeah. Yes, I just he's kind of pandemic nonstop. I have two jobs. And it's just mm-hmm. starting to become overwhelming. But, you know, my feet and body is starting to bother me. Okay. Absolutely. And so he's talking about taking some time out for yourself because you're burning the candle at both ends. And we don't want you to become ill. So you have to maintain a level of energetic balance within you. And he's also saying that um, there's, a, there's a reason why um, one job seems a lot harder than the other job, and that's because it doesn't align with you right now. But you, you're mm. just going through the motion just to get through some, some difficult times, some harder times, so that you can have that extra income. So did you have, did did you you have to pay the bills kind of thing? No. In other, in other words, our job, she's just trying to get through it to pay some bills, and and that phase will be over. Is that what you're saying? Um, just you know, just 
you know, the process probably trying to save up. It's not me working two jobs and I'm just down and out or I'm just in a desperate okay. state. Like, that's not the reason why I'm working for jobs, because I'm desperate for money, and I got to just have some jobs, because, no. Okay. But it, <laughs> it's just an extra income. Well, Absolutely. what you should you do, Eric? But it's not like Eric, a, job, a second job where I'm desperate or I need it, like, mandatory. Right, no. right, right. That's understandable, but, go ahead. but Eric, Eric is actually saying that, that it's best to have this, because you need, like, the scarting, like the rainy day fund. Mm-hmm. So he's talking about um, accumulating wealth through that. And also, um, he's talking about investing. (laughs) And he says that um, it's wise to do um, some investing. He's talking about um, actually um, pouring some more money into, he's saying, like, your current stocks or your plan that you have going on right now. Can you funnel can, do you have yeah, anything you. like a IRA or, or a savings account or anything like that? Do I have what? Anything. Savings account, IRA, pension, anything like that? Mm-mm, no. I mean, you need I'm to. Talking about investments for you. Yeah, that's that's what he's he's saying. He needs to accumulate the wealth. Okay, yeah. Coming, okay. coming out. That's that's all he's he's giving me. And also, um. <laughs> I have an older woman who's who's standing here next to me. She feels like a grandmother as well. And yes. Eric's here. And um, child, um, hold on. And she said things are going to get better. Um, and she's mm. telling me that this feels like a grandmother on um, like a masculine side, so father side. Also, I'm um, receiving. Mm-hmm. And. And so I'm receiving, like, that they're looking out for you, and yeah. they're actually um, concerned also. Do you have children? Because I'm seeing children also, and they're talking about children. No, I have no kids. Okay. There's children around you, though, because I see children, and they're talking about children, like, it, I just heard it's, com- it's coming. <laughs> Oh, grandchildren. Wow. I mean, I mean, uh, these yeah. Mhm. Mm-hmm. This could be a mother of you know, grandmother could be a great grandmother on the paternal side. You never know. All right. Well, Did thank you. Have you have Sherelle. Oh, go ahead. What? No, I was just wondering if 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 Sherelle, if you had any questions for them as well, because they always yes. are open. So it's like the questions, please. Yes, my question is, do you see Cordell contacting you or see him coming? Cordell? Are you saying if if Cordell? Yes. yes. I feel like it's it's on the other side. Energy is on the other side. Or on oh, the fence. No. Oh, okay. I was going to say no. He's not mm-hmm. passed on. No, no, on the fence, like kind of in and oh, out of the oh, light. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Are you wondering yeah. if, like, you'll get back with him again or he'll be in your life again? Yeah, like, yeah. No, yeah. yeah. I see more of, like, a friendly type of contact. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, we better, okay. we better take it to the next uh, caller because we've got a long Thank you. Have a good night. Good night. Thank you. You too. You too. Have a great evening. Okay. All right, guys. Usually it's just one um, question per customer. So let's go on to the mm-hmm. 805 area code. Oh, she had a lot of Hi, I wanted to Hi, Hi there. this is Donna from California. How are you? Hey, Donna. Hi, What's there. Up? Hi, Donna. Hi. Hello. Um, yeah, you. I wanted to know what spirit was saying coming up for me, and then I had a question for you, please. Sure. Well, how about we start with your question, Donna, because that always leads in. Yeah, you yeah. Okay, I wanted to know about, about my love life, if I'm going to uh, meet a fellow. Um, I was in my meditation, and during my meditation, I've been asking God to bring in a male partner and more abundance. And this was six months ago. I got a message. It filled me up with love, and it said it's coming soon. But that's been six months, and so I wanted to know about the finances coming or 
or the fellow or both together or what? <laughs> okay, so Donna, there's a couple of components to this. Remember that we attract um, what we bring and what we are as well. So right now, okay. like I, Eric's talking about finances, finances are like really crucial for everyone right now. So he's talking about okay. um, saving your money, stacking your chips, okay? Um, he's also saying that um, in terms of a relationship and what's coming forward, I'm getting, hey, I'm, hold, feeling hold on, not, I'm feeling it's yeah. not. Wait, guys, I'm going to go get my dowsing rods real quick. Just a minute, because I'm going to ask something. Okay. Great, great. So I'm, feel, I'm feeling it's I'm feeling it's more like not in a few months, but within this coming year. Okay, Donna, that's what mm-hmm. he's um he's showing me. And um, did you have an interest in a coworker, Donna, before? No, no, I'm there? not working. Yeah. Okay. I'm a little older. I'm 66. Okay. Okay. Because so I feel like there's a, a male who. Well, he's still in the workforce. Okay, that's good. Okay, so he's still in the workforce, and um, you'll meet him in an unconventional way, Eric is saying. Um, <laughs> he's being really funny, and Eric's like like, like, um, like one of those um, apps online, like dating okay. apps. He okay. said that's how you'll, you'll, you'll meet him, and you'll link up with him through like a dating app. That's actually how I met my husband, so. Good luck. Okay. Oh my God. I, got, I got the answer. I just asked Eric on okay. the dowsing rod. Here's the deal. You have closed portals that need to be open. You know, there's open portals. You may have those too. I don't know. I'm 80, 80, 80% do. 15% of people have closed portals that need to be opened. And um, most people who have closed portals do so because they've had little failures, disappointment, betrayals, you know, little yeah, it's had that betrayal and yeah. stuff. And so what yeah. happens is mm-hmm. you close, you're closed off to good streams of consciousness, abundance. You get kind of stuck. And um, the creativity, all the good stuff just won't come in. And he says you do. And it's quite easy to – now, I, I'm not doing any portal work. I, he hasn't released me to that, but I eventually will. And it's so easy to do, but it's also a dangerous work if you don't have to do it. So uh, when I start doing that again, I mean, it's – I'll, you know, so do that. But it's amazing. Here's what I did to Lucas, my son. I did all that portal work. Oh, close the bad ones, open the good ones. Okay, so mm-hmm. did it. He and the it, next day he went, he went from making fifteen dollars an hour as an intern, and the company the next day called him and said, Lucas, we're sending you to California. You're going to make twelve thousand dollars a month, and then we're going to oh increase it to sixteen thousand dollars a month after mm-hmm. three months. And my my daughter uh, had a prep step test step two test for medical school. She went made the top score in the nation on the real test because I wow. put, did all the portal work not only on her but the testing center. It is crazy amazing. Anyway, and how does that, how can is. I have and, all that happen to me? Yeah, exactly. Now you could check but with Raylene. Check with Raylene Nuanis. I've asked her to do it on, for people, but she's too busy with, she at that point was too busy uh, with investigative work. But I may start doing it when Eric has to release me because I got myself into heavy shit where I got out of the bathtub and was black scum in it, okay? Because I didn't know, you know, I was supposed to bathe in Himalayan pink salt and blah, 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 and a, a bunch of shit that I did not do. Now I know how to do it. But I have to heal. I lost a lot of hair and stuff. So, so he's got me in portal jail for now. But you know, in a couple of weeks, I'll probably get back to it. Well, Elisa, that's what Eric says. He says in a few weeks you'll be full steam ahead. And Donna, Eric is also saying that this would be very beneficial to you. So is there somebody else? Some yeah, well, she might be in a hurry. Is there somebody else now that can do it for her? That you know of? Um, not off the top of my head. I'm asking Eric if there's um, maybe a medium that we know that could help. Eric, I'm getting, I'm getting better. Kim. I'm getting Kim could also help with this. Kim Boyd. She, she can close portals. I don't know. I don't know anybody who can. Don't look on the internet because there are some crazy people out there that do. And don't try to learn yourself because it's it's dangerous. Okay. 
There's no YouTubes out oh. there. Really. So, um, Some of this also has to do with the in, inner healing, too. You have to remember yeah. that although, although we have open portals or some that are closed, um, you have to be ready to receive it when it comes as well. So that yeah. healing needs to be in place as well. Because if not, well, no one can really go into a healing crisis. Yeah, but here's where I use a scalar energy uh, generator. I do it in a scalar wave so that it goes remotely to you. You don't have to be and here. that's beautiful. Yeah, that's, and that's beautiful. That's that is extremely powerful. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That is awesome. Awesome. Anyway, so just, uh, just look well, at it. Eric, not sure in the right direction if she needs to get things done before two or three weeks from now. <laughs> He's giving a thumbs up. He says, I will, Mom. <laughs> Okay, babe. Thank you. Beautiful. Okie dokie. Got somebody from the 212 area code. Yes, hi. This is hi, uh, how are you Bryn. Doing? Hi, this hey. is Bryn. How are you doing? Hey, yeah. From New, Good, New how are York you City. Doing? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Going through, uh, I think, a lot of changes lately. So, my question is uh, hi, hi, Stephanie. Good, good or bad? Excuse me? Good or bad? Um, I think I'm just getting some feelings to the surface that don't feel very good, but I'm staying okay. with them. And m- my question is, am I listening well to my guides and I'm on, I'm on the right course? Okay. Hi, Bren. Uh, good, good evening. So fellow New Yorker, huh? Um, yeah. I will. <laughs> Me too. So um, what Eric is saying, though, is that you are extremely um, sensitive and he's saying that um, you have um, inner empathic abilities as well. Right. And you're able to tap into the energies around you. So he says a big, a big part of that is balancing out your energy and learning how to um, build a psychic shield he's giving me. So kind of like learning how to put yourself in a, in, in a, circle of protection for yourself so that when you go outside, you don't feel so bombarded. That could even be having um, a special word or mantra that you say to yourself or just imagining, because remember that he's saying um, imagination, image, and ion, uh, an image and energy together. Okay. So right. what you want to do is you want to envision yourself um, completely surrounded and protected. Okay. That way you're not, you're not so bombarded. It's kind of like if you go to the supermarket, all these people who are very um, in fear or you're walking outside, people are in fear. You're feeling all of those energies as well. So he's saying it's really important specifically for you because you are so sensitive. And are you feeling more um, spirit around you? Because he says like your gifts are expanding even more as well, dear. Um, yeah, I, I feel they are. I feel I'm, I'm – Needing to get through some emotional blockages, um, you know, I, I I've been feeling strange today at times, and kind of um, like uh, wanting to throw up. Like there's something yeah. deep inside of me that I I need to vomit out, and and it it, it it's not too here to the surface yet, but but I I almost like retched two times today. You know, and I've had that experience before. So there's something deep inside that needs well, to be Well, absolutely. I just I just stepped outside and asked, and um, and Eric said that you have um, well, actually only one open portal that needs to be closed, and um, I can't remember now one or two closed portals. The closed portals are very it's like emotionally constipated. You know, could that be it, Eric? Or is it the open portal? Yes, yeah, Eric is saying. Eric is saying. It's the closed portal that needs to be open. Yeah. Okay. And what what I'm feeling also is that it's actually like right in the solar plexus. Like I can feel that heaviness for you. Okay. Follow your instinct and follow your gut. He's talking about more meditation, like time and solace for you as well. Right. Yeah. And you meditating. He's talking about um, if you could get. not just not just portal work, but he's talking about like maybe a long distance, like a Reiki healing or a Reiki session. Okay. Uh, yeah. That because you would really benefit from that, so it would help balance out your energies from afar. And right now you can do that 
um, without having to go into a particular venue or, or, right. or um, a place yeah. to do it that. Works. Yeah. Yeah, and the portal work is also remote, too. So do you recommend somebody who can do that, Reiki, work remotely? Eric, anybody? Uh, actually, I can. <laughs> oh, okay. I do, I, do, I do Reiki work as well, and, uh, and oh, I have quite awesome. a few contacts as well who can do distance Reiki healing, so that's not an issue. Because Eric is, like, pointing. He's like, why don't you just do it? I'm like, okay. <laughs> I do it. Yeah. No, I, will, I will go on your website. I'll go on your website. NorthCorner.com. And, and I will post when I'm when Eric lets me out of um, website, I mean website jail, portal jail. But if I don't, if you don't let me out for a while, then, you know, he'll give me a name of somebody that can help everybody. So, um, Absolutely. Okay. I'm Absolutely. embarrassed by having a boss. Uh, she don't want mama to get bald, I guess. I don't know. Uh, so. I, didn't hear, I didn't hear what you said. I'm sorry. My, I will let everybody know when I can get when he lets me out of portal jail because he wouldn't even let the dowsing rods which help oh. his, do it. He wouldn't even let them move. And you okay. know, my bathtub when I finish it, it, like drain it in this black scum from all the negative energy. It's, uh, it's, oh, it's wow. awful. And I started losing huh. so much hair. So uh, yeah, because yeah. I didn't I didn't know what I was doing at first, but now I did. But you know, I got to throw some hair back. I guess I don't know. I don't want to fall, Mama. I guess it, 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 it embarrasses him from his peers. I don't know, but I will let everybody know, and if, if he or she will let me know what who who can help you guys. All righty. Okay. Absolutely. Uh, Absolutely. Uh, uh, all right. Have thank you. Have a wonderful you. evening. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, thanks a lot. Take care. Thank Bye-bye. you. Thanks. You know what, Elisa? I also yeah. want to say that um, you know because everyone is is having a little trouble these days. It's really important to do that energy balancing. So that energy balancing, you know, it, it includes way more than just um, um, grounding. You know, a lot of people are like trying to ground outside, but the salt baths help. Even k- keeping a, a a dish of salt in your room helps you. Yeah. Oh, um, really? Helps, helps the air as well. Yes, yes, you can do yeah, that. The Himalayan, um, the Himalayan pink salt or any kind of salt. Yes. The Himalayan pink salt, that's totally okay. fine. Um, you you can also place a little bit of sand, like a dish of sand, like um, cool. playground sand or anything like that, um, to help with the inside because not everyone can go outside, but that really helps. Like um, I actually discussed this with my husband, just like putting your feet in a little box of sand or a little like Tupperware oh, full of sand. Cool or a little Tupperware full of dirt helps you get grounded when you can't uh, make those moves and go outside and rebalance yourself. So it's pretty, You're pretty welcome. important that we're doing that as well. Yeah, exactly. Very good. Uh, oh, did I, no, that was, that was very amazing. Okay. Now we're going to go to the three, three, four area code. Hi there. How are you? Wow. Thank you so much for taking my call. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hello. How can we help you? <laughs> Peace, peace. Um, okay, I'm from Alabama. My name is Shakira, and I just want to know: Do you, hi, do you guys see any love coming in my life? You know, it's so funny because, like, as you're saying, hi, Shakira. As you're saying that, I'm getting, I'm just the love machine, like oh, <laughs> in the back room. <laughs> <laughs> and so he's kind of he's kind of flirting too. He is he's so gushy. He's a funny guy. Um, and so um, in terms of of people coming into your life right now, um, I'm <laughs> Eric. Eric's so Aww. funny. He's like another one, another one that could meet someone online. Like he's saying potential Aww. suitors online. So yeah, if you're if you're um, looking um, to meet someone, um, I don't feel like you already know them. I feel like this is going to be someone completely new coming into your life. And I, mm-hmm. and he's showing me like the internet, like dating apps again. So you will, you will find that connection. It, he's also saying it's going to start off slow. And the feeling is, is that this is someone who also has, um, he, this is someone who has a child already. Has oh, a child. Uh-huh. Okay. okay. So this is someone who has a child. He's talking about like blended families. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. So okay. this is this is a potential option for you. So keep searching. <laughs> keep, okay. Keep going online. You think? <laughs> you know. So I'm, is there anything he can uh, time frame or anything he can tell me about so him other than of, he has a child? Yes. Yes. So in terms of time frames. 
I'm feeling anywhere between six to nine months, he says, okay? Mm -hmm. Um, And this person, the other thing I'm getting is it feels like I'm engineering or something of that nature, someone who's thinking with their hands quite a bit. Is he the forever guy? Eric is giving me that feeling like he's he's going to be the guy that stands the test of time with you. Oh wow! Oh, okay, that's good. I didn't. I know I've been told different things from different you know readers. Like I'll meet someone this year, and I just don't mm-hmm. know like when to be open to it. You know, I don't want to yeah. waste best, my time or Eric, anyone else's. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Eric's saying, "Keep working on you. The better the better you are, the better you feel." You'll attract mm-hmm. that matching vibration as well. Okay. Okay. So you know what that's better you getting... feel about yourself. Yeah. You know what I'm beginning yeah. to believe? All these callers today are looking for love, and I think this is They're Eric looking for love. drawing you, drawing everybody here to mm-hmm. let me also know that I think that uh, people who were looking for love but not getting that special someone into their life have closed portals that need to be opened. So that the abundance mm-hmm. flows in, the love flows in, everything that they, that they no they don't get stuck anymore for for one Absolutely. thing. Absolutely, I think Absolutely. that's it. Yeah. Well, God dang it, yeah, Eric, get me out of Porto Dale, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> well, I appreciate it, and I thank you guys you're, so much. You're very welcome, okay. Eric. Saying if at first you don't succeed, Mom, try, try again, and you will get there too. Well, you'll be at a point where you can do it so easily, Elisa. It'll just, it'll, yeah. it'll be just it muscle well, memory, pretty media. much. Yeah. Watch my social media when I announce that I'm gonna start doing. Okay, girl. There mm-hmm. you go. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Have a great end vlog, whatever. Bye. All right. Bye. I just had that epiphany. That's, uh, what is it? Eryphony. There we go. Okay. <laughs> now we got somebody from the 631 area code. How you doing? Hello. 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 What's up? Hi. Suzanne. Hi, Suzanne. Where are you calling from? Long Island. Long Island. Yay. What you got Long for Island. Long Island. <laughs> Long Island. I, qu- I have a question. When do you see love coming in? And will I keep the job I have now or get a teacher assistant one? I'm so- there we go. It is a closed portal thing. It's it, it's weird, man. I've never had this many questions about love, abundance, and getting the right job flowing in. Flow, flow, flow. Uh, That's okay. We're being high energy. So um, hi, Suzanne. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Okay, so sorry about that. A fellow, a- that's okay. It's awesome. It's amazing. We got a fellow New Yorker in the house uh, from Long Island. So um, what I'm yeah. feeling about love and Eric, Eric is kind of like leaning in and he's like, can I tell you a secret? <laughs> you already, you already know this person. I do. <laughs> Ooh. You've, you've crossed paths with this person already, Eric is saying. It's kind of like they're returning back into your life. Okay. When? This person is like <laughs> through. <laughs> Eric says you'll get reconnected um, sometime this year is what he's giving. Wow. Us, okay. It's talking oh, about this as a reconnection. Is it past hmm. um, a friend of a friend? So um, Eric is saying. I really don't know right anybody way. that I've crossed paths with. Yeah, so what he means by that is this person is a prior twin flame of yours who's coming oh. through. <laughs> so you've already shared in the experience, so you're going to share in the experience again this year. When you meet this person, it's going to be super kismet. It's just going to be like two magnets. You won't be able to let let go of each other. Hmm. What, oh. what, age, what age were they? Like teens, tw- I mean, whatever. Um, right now, I'm feeling he is um, like a middle-aged gentleman, um, late so, 40s. Okay. Wow. Um, person right now is that's a man. that's a little younger than I am, but I, I wouldn't mind. <laughs> <laughs> there no, you y'all. Eric said, I think Eric is saying that y'all were together, you know, together in your right. when he was in his young 20s, maybe. So take a so in, in, walk into memory lane, down memory lane. Mm-hmm. 
Thanks. And you were actually asking about um, your your uh, work role as as if you would stay working in the educational department. Was that correct, Dan? Well, well, right now I'm a bus monitor for the summer. They want me to come back. I don't know if I was working as a teacher aide, but it wasn't enough money, and I was going to try for a teacher aide job even closer, but it's not enough money. So either, believe it or not, you know, with schooling and everything I have, either stay as a bus monitor or try for a teacher assistant, not aid in a school nearby. Those are the only two options I have, I mean, that I want. You know what? I'm seeing he's leaning more into, like, uh, remaining the bus monitor. He says that that's going to be more lucrative. Um, the teacher's aide, that, that might um, – I'm feeling like that's a position of change, and you're going to be more in need doing the bus as the bus monitor. He's giving. What about right? teacher assistant? No, what no, about no. Teacher's age is different. He's Eric saying teacher's assistant. Teacher's uh, assistant. Is that yeah. different? Is that different? Yeah, teacher assistant. You have to have like certification yeah. in it and all that other stuff, yeah. and I have it. Well, but can you get that? I understand, but what he's getting at is that in terms of the way that the educational system is right now with the with the with the oh. pandemic, yeah, yeah, he says that you'll be more in need. Like that'll be it'll be more stable for you um, with the 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 bus monitor situation. Yeah, yeah I but think you, you're right. I'm gonna I'm yeah. gonna stick yeah. with it. But real quick, like, I'm hoping that they could make me pick me up. Um, the bus cup the yard isn't ready yet, so I'm yeah. going to be going where, where I went now for the summer, which is close to home. I'm hoping yeah. that maybe the bus driver can pick me up closer to home come October or something so I don't Good. have to travel far. Yeah, perfect. Well, Sounds I hope right. that arrangement will work out for you there. Thank you. And he's going to be in his late 40s? I never met anybody in the late 40s. Well, we'll yeah, see. the gentleman that's oh. coming. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> well, middle-aged. Yeah, because I'm going to be 60 in October. Well, mm-hmm. middle-aged, you know, we'll see. All right, good luck. All right, thank you. Eyes, eyes and good heart luck. open. Okay, Bye. thank you. You bet. Have a great evening. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. All right, let's see. Got somebody... Uh, from the 415 area code. Hi there. Hey there. How Thanks you doing? Hi. Great. Good. What you got for us? I would, well, I'll continue on the same theme for the night and add um, moving. So I know I want to move and I want to meet somebody. So anything about the order of that happening or oh, how that's far. Good. Yeah. If you see how far I would go from where I am now. Okay. Um, so the first thing that Eric is saying is that you'll move first before you meet someone. Mm-hmm. Okay. He's he's giving me the feeling like it's going to be where you move to is where you connect and make a connection mm-hmm. with um, another partner. Um, and then in terms of moving, were you thinking of moving abroad? I'm getting like moving abroad or like packing up the house and moving farther away or farther away, much further away. I'm, 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 he's giving me like the West. Okay. The direction of West. Wow. What are you you thinking about? Um, I'm on the West coast. So further away would be. Hawaii. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, Hawaii. Yeah. Yeah. He's giving me the West. And he's saying that um, just like a different location. I'm asking him if it's going to be like a far move for you, and it's not extremely far. So he's like, you're 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 staying in the west. It's oh, just a I, different okay. area. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's what I I definitely like the west coast the best. So. Um, mm-hmm. so in the same state you're in, Eric says. Mm-hmm. Just a different location. Oh, got it. Mm-hmm. Got it, got it, got it. Let me ask you if, if, what direction it's going to be in. Okay, Eric. <laughs> okay. West. Go ahead. Keep talking. Mm-hmm. So I haven't you're, um, you're called into your show before, so it's I'm enjoying it. First time calling in. Oh, beautiful. Thanks for calling in. This is my first time on the show with Elisa, and so we're having oh. a great time. And yeah, um, I fine. wish you lots of luck with your move could as well. It be, could it be somewhere east of where you are now, maybe? 
I'm not very good at these things, but I'm just, I'm practicing on it. I'm using you as a guinea pig. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so but that's anyway, quite all, all right. right. Yeah, you can. I'll let you know. Out. Yeah, Thank do you please. So much. I hope. Please feel free to follow up with us. Yeah, please. That'd be awesome. All right. All right. Thanks so much. Sure. Have a great evening. <laughs> My big, big. Okay. Yeah, she's in California. I can tell by her. Mm-hmm. Um, Erica. Okay. Let's see. Who have we got now? Since she dropped off, I don't know if this, uh, we've already. Let me see. Did, did did we already talk to you before nine one uh, nine era code? No, not yet. No, oh, okay, good. Yay! I didn't mess up. Hi. Hold on. How you doing? <laughs> I'm great. My name is Kay. Hey Kay. Hi Kay. Hi. Which I have really been enjoying the um the show. Thank you so much for taking the call. Well, thank you. Thank you. Oh. How can we help you? Um, well, I'm not deviating too far from what everybody else is requesting. I'm just wondering about my career and sure. how things are going to work. Okay. So, Eric, what do you say? So, so Eric is saying that right now, um, Kay, with your career, he's talking about there is going to be more growth. Um, there's going to be some changing tides coming. Um, the other thing I'm seeing is he's talking about a pay increase or like making Ooh. more money, like a higher salary. Okay. Yeah. Ta- yeah. Talking about, <laughs> he's also talking about recognition. Yeah. Like, yes. Okay. The recognition, like it's, it's kind of like been long time, long standing. Like you haven't received all the recognition that you were supposed to. Um, no. <laughs> and then he's, he's saying that he's, he just says, keep up the hard work. Like you're, He's saying you're on track. You're, he keeps saying wow. you're like she's on track. Okay. Does that okay. make sense? Okay. So, it, it does. It's a lot that's going on. Um, and mm-hmm. the not non recognition, yes. And I, I think I was just kind of torn about whether or not it's time to start looking elsewhere. But it's it sounding like Eric is saying just. Oh, that's awesome. Well, hey, you should get what you. You deserve, know what girl. I'm. What I'm feeling too is, I, and I just want had to say this because Eric was talking, um, and he's talking about like another position within the position, like moving through, almost like when you become like okay. um, like a like supervisor level or like the next yes. level, like yes. the next step. Okay. okay? So okay. keep an eye okay. open for that. It's coming, girlfriend. <laughs> that's <laughs> great. That's that's great to know. Thank you so much. This is wonderful. You're Thank very you welcome. Have a good evening. Thank you. Bye. I feel it coming for her. Okay, let's see. We got somebody from the 713 area code. Hello, Houston, Texas. How, how Elise, you doing? Yes. It's Kathy, your neighbor. Oh, my gosh, I'm glad I got in. Okay. Hi. Can you hear me? How you doing? Hi. I got what two you? questions, dear. Yes, I miss no, you, no. but um, I I want to know if they're yeah, so Kathy. Right, people. Just to let you know. What? I'm telling everybody, we're just a stone throw. Uh, we're not that far away yeah. from each other. We're a spit, spit away from each other. <laughs> That's so right. I have two comments. One is I want to know, do, is, does Eric see anything about me? Should I be making a shift to something else? Do I stay in teaching where I'm at? And I did send you a message, and I want to know if Eric had anything to do with me getting almost a complete airplane flight from Houston to Chicago on July 7th where there were only two passengers during that whole COVID. I did say, Eric, can you help me out? Beat the one where you got somebody moved up to first class. Not only did I get first class, I was the only person other than one other person on the entire plane. So wow. I want to know what Eric, to say. Eric just said that Eric just said that made your day entirely better. And he said, I yes, he it. did have a little something to do with that. And he's kind yeah, of he's snickering off to the side. <laughs> Uh-huh. He's doing a he little giggle, that. like, "Yeah, I helped you out." I heard, he said, "I heard you from a distance, and I came." <laughs> and he then so um, he needs to do that with me, man. <laughs> <laughs> and what about the work? And, so, and so for you for work, you were you were saying you yeah. work. Uh, you're are you a teacher? Is that what you're doing I'm, right now? Yes, in Houston, 35 years, and I don't know wow. if it's time for me to make a shift to do something else. I plan to go back, you know, in a couple of weeks. Um, I just want to know, am I, 
is there another something calling me to do something else? Eric is talking about volunteering with children. He says like you would be a wonderful person and you've got like the background to help help um He's talking about like kind of like um, inner city or like more like impoverished children, children who kind of need like mentoring. Okay. Yeah. Um, he says that would be like a really good direction for you when things clear up a little bit. But he's also saying like for the meantime, hold tight in the in the teaching sector. Okay. Okay. He says like you, you've got a you've got a, um, a good track. He's saying, <laughs> but he says <laughs> he's giving me the feeling he's saying like. You're on point right now. Like, you are where you need to be, he's saying, and you're getting through where you need to be. So this yeah. other direction may not sound right now, but something may happen that will enamor you to that, I think, is what she's, he's saying. But yeah, because anyway, so, I'm looking for oh, humanitarian so, yeah. things and helping people and what mm-hmm. is my greater purpose. And, you know, I am already in, an, yeah. in a deprived school in Houston Independent School District, mm-hmm. and I love teaching, yeah. mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. so I'm growing in my spirituality, and I'm like, I want to do more to help the world, and I don't know if it's, you know, if that's where my next path is okay. going down, and that's what I want to know. And Eric, well, says, okay. Eric says baby steps, too. He says, don't be so okay. hard on yourself. You're doing as much as you can for the time being. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so, so much. And you you're again. very welcome. <laughs> well, I, got story about, I got the story about changing tickets. Uh, this one uh, woman came to uh, a Chandler Eric event at my house, hosted by somebody. And uh, this woman was on her, her way back to uh, the airport. And she had visited Eric's grave um, right before. And he did some prank there, of course. And then she was in line uh, for the coach um, section. And she's saying, you know, Eric, I want you to change me to first class. And right before her eyes, she saw her ticket change from, like, group, I don't know, C, you know, seat, I don't know, 34, to group A, um, seat two, whatever. I mean, it was first class. She saw it change right before her eyes. It's so cool. <laughs> Never freaking Amazing. done it to me. <sighs> I know. It's cool. Actually, All right. So, Eric girl. has actually warned me of a traffic incident while I was driving. I literally felt no. him put his arm, like, put his hand on my arm and, like, say, uh-huh. hey, turn in this lane. And when I did, there was actually, like, an incident mm-hmm. on the other side of the road. <laughs> oh, wow. That's cool. Okay. Let's see. I got somebody from the 516 area code. Hi there. Hi. Hi. Hello. 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 Hi, Stephanie. Hi, Hello. Hello dear. How are you How guys? You Thank you for taking my call. I am That's with amazing. you since day one, Elisa. What? What's your first name? Darlene. I'm from Long Island also. <laughs> no, but, oh, hi. okay. Well, hi. Oh, yes. I think I know. Is your, is your last initial a W? What is it? Yes. Yes. Yes, I knew. I'm a, I know. I always send I love you. I always send you messages. I love you. You're so sweet. I love you so much. Um, oh, I beautiful. have so many questions, so I can only ask Eric to to please just answer. Give me give me some help with whatever he thinks I need to hear most. Okay. Any specific questions, such as your career? Because that's something that's popping no, out here. No, I, I don't have. I don't really have a career. I I write mm-hmm. and I'm. I'm a, my uh, caretaker to both of my elderly parents. Um, now, you know, you're, saying I, you, you're saying you write, but have you thought about um, writing down your experiences and sharing that with other people? Because that's, yes. that's something that I'm feeling here. Okay? I, wrote, and, I wrote a memoir. I wrote my memoirs, but I sent it out to one publisher, and they, they said no. Um it's about I had breast cancer when I was 34, and I wrote about my childhood in funny little vignettes. That's what the Beautiful. whole book is, is vignettes, but I give up very easily. <laughs> i got to know, mm. and I say, okay. <laughs> uh, Eric says, Eric's saying, like, don't give up. It's worth sharing your story. There's people who can benefit, and they also receive healing from hearing 
your story and from reading your story as well. It, it can affect okay. the lives of other people. You see, a lot of things uh, people people don't always understand, but when you are a light worker, they come in many different flavors of light workers. Okay, many different varieties. Um, you are someone who can affect people in your writing, in your speech, and in your experiences. So he's kind of harping on that, like. Like don't don't be so down on yourself. You're actually very good at it. Okay. Well, maybe don't get maybe discouraged. Maybe it should, there, there should be a, 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 a thread going through uh, it that's a little bit different. Like um, mm-hmm. um, it doesn't have to have been part of uh, your breast cancer experience, but uh, it could weave in yours with what could be for other. Um, um, well, cancer uh, uh, people with cancer, Insurance like and, sure, yeah. Well, no, I yeah, mean, like, was, like what people are starting to do now, like scalar energy, scalar rise, mm-hmm. remote healing, all these things that are now starting to like. Well, I don't know. That's just, uh, uh, maybe just talk to Eric through one of the mediums, you know, and see mm-hmm. what. Yeah. Other, well, I, I've I've um, spoken to Eric through Raylene and Kim and. Um, uh, Beautiful. Any other, any other of your beautiful, your beautiful uh, channelers? Yes, they're all wonderful, and they've all helped me. Even mm-hmm. Raylene told me that you know that they'll find me, but I, I give up fast. But I, yeah, it's just something I've always did. I always wrote, and oh, then I decided let I me know, do my memoir. Oh, mm-hmm. maybe you have to close mm-hmm. portals. Let me ask Eric. I'm mm-hmm. step away from the technology, though. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Yeah, so Colleen, Eric is saying keep your chin up, though. Don't get okay. discouraged with that. People do want to read your story, and they want to they okay. want to experience your experience. It, it it does provide healing. And something Thank else you. that I was just kind of getting at the same time is like you have this innate ability to build and like to create, and this yes. brings you a, a very deep sense of accomplishment. Okay. Oh my so goodness! That is yes. Very, that is very life fulfilling for you. So please, it like, is. if you have the ability, please pursue it. Because Eric's saying, don't give oh. up, don't give up. Oh, okay? he's so sweet. I do. I have an Etsy shop and I, I make birdhouses and I put little. Beautiful. Yeah, and it just fills me with so much joy. I mean, five hours could go by and I wouldn't even realize it. I okay, think that's what he's talking about. I figured it out. Amazing. I asked Eric, you have six closed portals. Oh, oh my heavens! How do how do I open them? Oh, well, I can do it when he gets me out of portal jail. But you can ask Raylene. She, she might do. It. She, Could I be can I portal. post your bail? No, he won't let me. I can't. Even, he won't even let the devil oh. rush me. All right, but so I can't, can't post bail me. for you. <laughs> I know, I know. But I will, you know, just email me from time to time. But you can ask Raylene. She might be able to do it. I asked her one time yeah. to help this one family, but she said no because she was too busy with the. FBI or police investigative work and stuff. Oh, but, so you but, so uh, I have to open these portals, not close them. No, yeah, no. Well, there's some open. Eighty percent of people have open portals that are blasted open from traumas, illness, oh. all that stuff. And that's negative energies come through, and you know, eighty percent of people have that. Uh, a lot of people have closed portals, and that's caused by uh, you know life's disappointments. Uh, Repeated failures, betrayals, yeah. dings to the self confidence, and and yeah. that's where it, it's like spiritual constipation. Then you don't get the abundance, you don't get the love that you're seeking. Um, you're right. You don't get creativity. You, you you're just hitting don't get on the, everyone. Yeah, the stream of consciousness that's supposed to come through into your life. And it's so, I mean, it's just like, I'm going to start a portal business where I blast open. <laughs> yeah, because um, it's pretty good. Now I know how to do it without losing hair. I would and love have you to open my portals. Scat I would love you to do that. Bathroom. But anyway, uh, yeah, when I started <laughs> doing it, really, I had black scum when I drank the water. It was oh really bad. What do I have to do? Do I have to do any of that? No, when you no, open no. The- so don't, Eric don't is it. actually saying that this no, that portal no. that portal work would be beneficial for you, dear. He it okay. certainly would be. Oh, okay. please don't that's something yourself. that you I can have look lost, into. When I thought I knew how to do it, I mean, and Eric can't just say, "Hey, be sure, mom, that you take a seven minute uh, Himalayan salt bath and you do this yeah. between your tea and." Uh, but I ha- bought a very expensive scalar energy wave generator. Yeah. 
So I can remotely, because scalar energy oh, that's awesome. infinite distances, and that's how you can, I can treat anybody okay. in the world remotely and close their portals. Um, so get when you say remotely, we could do it on the phone? No, I don't, you don't even be there. And close oh, the open portals that need to be closed, and then permanently wrap them and the animals and their, their homes, their vehicles, everything, their energy wow. bodies with a golden that's shield. Exciting. Of yeah, it's pretty cool. Were you oh, on the line so when I said I did that to Lucas? Yes. Yes. Yeah, I, I heard everything. That's just amazing. I'm excited yeah. to have that done. So I'll, yeah. I guess I'll email you once in a blue moon to see if you're out of jail. <laughs> and we oh, can God. do this. That would be wonderful. So, Stephanie, good. I love you. I saw you last oh. night, and, and I was happy to have you here today answering for me, for Eric. Well, thank, thank, thank you. Thank you so, so much. much. I good luck. that. you Beautiful soul. Thank you so much. Have a good evening. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thanks, Elisa. I'll, I'll email you. All right, darling. Darling, darling. Okay. Bye. <laughs> bye. Bye-bye. And Elisa and oh, Eric was talking. Oh. Uh, I'm, 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 I thought back. you were oh, I thought she was <laughs> here. Um, talking. <laughs> Elisa, Eric was saying, hey, he's like, hey, mom, you'll be doing this. He's giving me the feeling you'll be doing this in large groups, too, Elisa. The, um, the scalar energy work. Okay. Oh, and also oh, awesome. said, like, start, st- starting off, starting off, that's why he wanted you to kind of take it slow <laughs> and take it yeah. easy so you wouldn't get the burnout. That's why I, I had, that, had that, feel, that feeling, that intention, like, oh, you shouldn't jump into that quite yet. But now you're at a point where you're learning more and you're healing uh-huh. from it and you're going to be able to really help and affect so many people's lives, you know, it, it's going to be amazing. It's amazing. I know. When I first started doing it, I did the protection that I knew to do, but then I wondered, why am I throwing up? And why is my whole body in such pain? It was awful. But anyway, okay, let's go to another person. This is from the 775 area code. Hi there. How you doing? Hi, ladies. My name is Wendy Hello. from California. Hi, Wendy from California. Hi, Wendy. How can we help you? you? Well, um, I've been on a medical leave for several months, and Mm -hmm. my current primary care doctor was quite rude to me um, a few weeks ago. And, um, however, to get paperwork signed, I I don't want to change doctors right now. I'll be approaching uh, this doctor um, at the end of this month. Uh, to extend me again, and then after she does it, I'm expecting probably to look for a new doctor. I I hope that'll be a smart decision, and that the new doctor, after reviewing all my MRIs and records and everything, will continue to approve me off. Um, Absolutely. What do you see? And- so what Eric is saying right now is that, yes, yes, in fact. So one thing he just said to me, because um, I just heard this, he was talking about holistic care um, in the mm-hmm. interim of you being with the current doctor you have, and then holistic care when you transition into um, the, the care of another primary physician, okay? Um, I'm definitely getting the feeling that you're going to switch. He's saying, yeah, it's, he said it's, it's overdue, actually. It's overdue your time to... Uh, be with this uh, medical professional. Um, and he's also saying that um, there's, there's some things going on with you right now. Like the, there's, there was like some uncertainty um, in either like the diagnosis. Okay. He's like, they're like, he's showing me that they may have told you like you had one thing, but then you have symptoms of like something else. Okay. He's, he's giving me the, the feeling and he's showing me, he's like, you need to do more research. Okay. So maybe the secondary doctor is what I'm feeling, and he's kind of giving me, like, they're going to run more tests, and and they're going to help you out in a better way than what you're being, than your care at the moment, okay? That's what I'm What are they telling you? What are they telling you that you have? I have spondylosis. Okay. I have spondylosis in my back, lumbar, and... um, not and it's very painful. Mm-hmm. I'm in okay. a wheelchair oh, right now. Man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Um, mm-hmm. But my doctor uh, upset me so badly, and I, I work mm-hmm. in a call center, and I was shocked that she would treat a patient who's not feeling well with the demeanor that mm-hmm. she took with me. 
And um, so I, I want to be intelligent, and I'm going mm-hmm. to hopefully she'll, when I contact her the last day of this month or the first day of, of uh, September, she will extend me again. Um, okay. And then at that point, I'll get a new doctor. Is is that going to pan out for me the way I'm hoping? Eric gives me the feeling of yes. And he's talking about having your documents in order. Like he shows me like a huge case file. Like make sure you have yeah. everything in order so that you can have a smooth transition for the handoff. That's terrible. Okay. And oh. mm-hmm. um, will it will it be there's two doctors that are fantastic. They don't become available very often, but um, there's a doctor, first name Holly, who has red hair. Um, and I would love to have her be my primary care doctor, but she's not available right now. Maybe she will become available towards the first of the month, like a lot of doctors are. Or maybe another doctor, uh, her last name is Ferris. Uh, will it be one of these two doctors or a different one? Eric's giving me the feeling like it's going to be a, a third. There's a third party, so another another person will be involved. Uh, I'm not feeling okay. that it will be either of these um, two physicians. Okay. Well, is there, well, it, is, is there surgery? Surgery? Can Have you had surgery? Oh, I'm not anticipating any surgery, no, thank God. Oh, okay. Um, well, but, uh, well, this, would there be a surgery? This, uh, Are, you sure, Are you sure surgery would not help? Is there some new innovative surgery? I, I, I'm not. Yeah, that's not really been suggested to me. I've been in two car accidents, and I had oh, a broken mm-hmm. back 30 years ago, and then there was another okay. rear end collision as a passenger um, about a year and 10 months ago. Okay. And mm-hmm. um, so being off work is Physics. actually helping, and so is physical oh, therapy, good. exercise. Good. Good. Um, the, other thing but, I, the other thing I'm getting for you, too, because Eric's showing me, um, like, it's a, the TENS unit to help you with your muscles and your back and alleviating, um, like, uh, tension, just to kind of, like, exercise your muscle. It's what looks like the TENS unit. You know, it sends, like, the electrical impulses to your body, um, yeah. which could be very beneficial if you do, like, that kind of treatment. Um, and what's it called? Saying, like, a TENS unit, a TENS unit. The kind of stimulates your muscles uh, in certain, yeah. Yes. If you, there's nothing like there's nothing like a good, good physical therapist. You know, I'm telling you. Mhm. 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 Okay, girl. Well, well, he's showing me this. I guess we'll close I, the um, show. Um, okay, go yeah, ahead. I don't want to make a, a a poor choice because right now, um, I think the chances are my current doctor will. Uh, continue to approve me at least one more time. I don't know if she'll do it beyond that. Um, so well, what, what, the call, thing call is, back. Wait, call back in the show um, next week and um, just uh, be sure you call exactly 15 minutes prior to the hour so that you'll, you'll be right at the top there. Okay. And we'll ask Eric with the dowsing rod of these the two, then maybe the third doctor, okay? Wonderful. Okay. Thank you. All thank right, you darling. so much. You have a great evening, dear. Bye. And thank you. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you, Eric. You guys get in touch with Stephanie, and she does remote healing. You just heard it at enorascorner.com, E-N-O-R-A-S, uh, dot com. Thank you so much. Bye. Have a great thank evening. You, Stephanie. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. And Eric says, bye, Mom. Love you.